In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can render high quality animations in Unreal Engine 5. So let's get through it. Hey everyone, I'm Bezat and welcome to CBAR. So as you can see, we are on an interior project using Unreal Engine 5. And let's just look around the project and see what we have here. We have a modern interior scene here. And I want to render a short and high quality sequence from this scene. So first of all, I'm going to change the view from perspective to camera. And in the outliner section, I have a sequence that I've created before. And let's just open it from the content browser. So here I have my sequencer with the keyframes that I've created for the transformation and rotation of the camera. And this sequence contains 240 frames. So in order to have a high quality render for this animation, I'm going to use the Movie Render Q plugin. And for adding this plugin to my sequencer, I'm going to go to Windows tab and from the Cinematics section, I'm going to select the Movie Render queue. And by the way, if you have not activated this plugin yet, you must go to the Edit tab and click on the Plugins option. And by doing that, the Plugins window will appear and you just need to search for the Movie Render queue and, and then just add it to your project. You might also need to restart the Unreal Engine 5 or have the plugin. So here we have the Movie Render queue window. The first step is to add the sequencer to the plugin. And after that, let's just go to the settings of the related sequencer. As you can see, the exporting format for the frames is on JPEG. And now I want to change it to PNG. So all you need to do is to expand the settings and then select the PNG format. And now it's time to add the anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing will improve the quality of the render by increasing the sampling on each frame. So all you need to do is to go to its settings and check the override anti-aliasing option and set the temporal sample count on 64. Now I'm gonna go to the output settings and everything seems okay here and let's just locate the exported frames and after that check the use custom playback range and then set the start frame on 1 and end frame on 240 okay everything seems fine let's go to the movie render queue again and just do the final checks on the output section and after that let's just click on the render button Once you have done that, a new window will appear. And this window will show you the statistics of the rendering process. So as you can see, it takes a few seconds to render each frame. And in this scene, we have 239 frames. By the way, the sequencer was set on 30 frames per second, which means each second of animation contains 30 frames. For example, here in this scene, we have 240 frames. And that means the duration of this sequence is 8 seconds. Alright, the rendering process has been finished and we have 239 frames exported from the Unreal Engine. And in order to make an animation using these frames, I'm gonna use the Adobe Premiere Pro. In the Premiere Pro software, first of all, let's create a new project. And after that, let's import the frames to make the sequence. But notice that when you're importing the frames, just click on the first frame and then check the image sequence option. And by doing this, the sequence will be created automatically. And all you need to do is to check it and then drag it to your sequencer in Premiere Pro. Alright, as you can see, the animation is ready for export, so let's go to the File tab and click on the Export option. And by doing this, the Export Settings window will appear and all you need to do is to select your desired preset for the animation.
Finally, set the source range on entire sequence and then click on the export button. So that was all for this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any question or opinion, leave it to the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.